Hey guys! From the flesh-eating piranhas attacking people in a river to a deadly anaconda who almost swallowed a wandering scientist. Here are the top 5 most dangerous attacks in the Amazon jungle, part 2. Number 5. Flesh-eating piranhas At least 70 people were brutally injured during a horrific piranha attack in a river in Argentina back in 2013. Forever dispelling the theory that piranhas aren't dangerous, piranhas are, in fact, very dangerous animals and are capable of taking down huge groups of people with their vampire-like teeth. This attack happened deep in the jungle, about 186 miles from Buenos Aires. It was on a particularly hot day when the people on vacation decided to cool off in the nearby river. And that was when disaster struck. A young girl lost part of her finger. Dozens of swimmers suffered injuries to their ankles and hands. And the piranhas responsible for this savage attack were described as being the size of small dogs with big and sharp teeth and a whole lot of energy. And this wasn't even the first time there was a mass attack perpetrated by hungry piranhas. In 2008, 40 swimmers were hurt during a similar attack. And then, just one month after, the 70 people were swarmed by these voracious fish. The Daily Mail reported another attack that caused 10 people to suffer similar injuries, with at least one boy almost losing his middle toe from a piranha bite. And yes, fatalities are pretty rare when it comes to piranhas, but these fish will definitely do some serious damage. And you better hope you're not alone when it happens. Number 4. The Deadly Cayman Believe it or not, the black cayman is often considered to be the deadliest of all the predators in South America, responsible for more attacks on humans than bull sharks, anacondas, or even jaguars. Black caimans are huge and there are at least six species of them living throughout Brazil. They're much smaller than saltwater crocs, but can still grow to be upwards of 10 feet long. The black caiman is still big and strong enough to take on human prey. Take this case study published in Wilderness and Environmental Medicine back in 2011, for example, in which a young child was eaten by one of these ferocious beasts. The incident occurred when seven children were bathing in a remote river near their village in the Rodania state in Brazil. That's deep in the jungle. They were having a great time, but the caiman attacked the children, managing to grasp an 11-year-old girl and its deadly jaws. Luckily, a fisherman was nearby and helped the rest of the children safely, but it was too late for the little girl. He said he saw the reptile with a girl trapped in the mouth, but that soon disappeared. Her body wasn't recovered for a full day until police and other members of the community could successfully track the animal down. The study verified this report and confirmed that injuries caused by caimans have a similar clinical profile to those of sharks due to the potentially large wounds, blood loss, and secondary bacterial infections. They'll sneak up slowly using their camouflage to get close, and you can imagine that the shrieking children in the water having fun helped it out. The study says that an attack by one of these animals is almost always fatal, especially when it's an adult specimen, because their average length is 4 meters. Its 70 to 80 teeth, suitable for clamping down on its prey, add to the force of the jaw and prevent any reaction from the victim. While attacks are rare, this poor girl didn't stand a chance. Number 3. Violent Bullet Ants Coyote Peterson is one of the most insane wildlife experts in the world. Just last year, this guy went into the Amazon jungle and was deliberately attacked by bullet ants. In case you didn't already know, bullet ants have the most painful sting of any insect in the world, delivering excruciating pain that lasts up to 24 hours. People who have gotten attacked by these merciless insects have described the pain as on par with being shot with a gun. Hence, where bullet ants aren't such a violent name. And despite knowing full well how menacingly dangerous these ants are, Coyote Peterson went into the jungle and filmed himself getting bitten on the arms and then falling to the ground and rolling around in pain while the venom pumped into his bloodstream. This guy is clearly an absolute lunatic. And at 39 years old, he's already made dozens of videos of himself getting bitten by other nightmarish creatures. But this was definitely the worst, especially considering that a bullet ant can produce a neurotoxic venom. It's 30 times more painful than a bee sting. 
This is definitely one attack no normal person would willingly sign up for. So, would you let yourself get bitten or stung on purpose? Please let me know in the comments below. And before we continue, I just want to say thanks for checking out the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 2. Secluded Indigenous Tribe The most dangerous animal living in the Amazon jungle is actually the human being. Back in 2020, the BBC reported the tragic killing of a Brazilian official who had stumbled upon a secluded indigenous tribe deep in the dense jungles of Brazil and ended up being murdered by a hail of arrows. Rieli Franciscato was monitoring the tribe as part of his job working for the Brazilian government's indigenous agency when they ambushed him and fired upon him with their primitive arrows. Because the indigenous group was so secluded from the rest of the world, they had no way of knowing if Rieli was a friend or foe when he approached. And so, they did what frightened animals would usually do when they attacked. Eyewitness reports claim that when Rieli and his team of police approached the indigenous group, they opened fire. Everyone attempted to take shelter behind the nearby vehicle, but Rieli was a little too slow. He took an arrow straight to his chest and he died at the scene. As for this tribe of isolated humans, they're known as the Cautario River Isolated Group. The tribe is in deep trouble because of ranchers and loggers moving closer into their territory, making them a whole lot less secluded. And likely, this won't be the last attack we see in the coming years by this tribe on encroaching outsiders. Number 1. Anaconda While trying to capture an anaconda in the jungles of Venezuela, a team of scientists came under attack. The enormous snake did not appreciate the scientists trying to pull it out of the river where it had just been minding its own business. The snake didn't attack them while they were on their boat, but it definitely did some damage when the three scientists waded into the water and grabbed hold of it. The anaconda was big enough that it could have easily swallowed one of the men whole if it had been given the opportunity. But the men were quick and grabbed hold of the wriggling serpent. But that didn't stop the anaconda from biting down on one of the scientists' hands, an act that could easily mean losing a few fingers or even the entire appendage. The bite from an anaconda may not be venomous, but considering how huge its teeth are, it can still be deadly. In this particular case, the anaconda managed to get its fang right through the scientist's finger, and that was only the start of his misery. He then had to get his hand out of the snake's mouth, which is easier said than done. An anaconda's fangs curve inwards, meaning trying to pull his hands out of the snake's mouth would only rip his hand up even worse. He actually had to push his hand deeper into the snake's mouth to unhook himself from its curved fang. He got away with his life this time, but only because of sheer luck. Thanks for watching! Have you ever come face to face with any of these terrifying animals? Let me know in the comments and then please be sure to hit that subscribe button for even more amazing videos. See you in the next video!